What's up, Galaxy? It's time for Bantha Soup. I am your host, Gil Garcia. Today in the Bantha Tank, we are back at it with the Styrofoam. Guys, I'm just so on to this Styrofoam right now. This is another cool little piece that I picked out from changing out my dishwasher. And I'm going to make a Yavin hanger with this bad boy. For this project, I've got my trusty old tools. It's my foam knife that I picked up at Walmart $9.99 and my very old hot glue gun that I've had forever. But uh, yeah, I've got some pretty cool ideas for this hanger. Check out this cool little bag my wife picked up. Just a little random cool retro figure bag threw up on the wall. But yeah, so I've been really kind of focusing on this Yavin Temple playset that I've been working on for a good while. And I'm going to add a hanger to go right underneath it. Um, I've cleared out this brown shelf. I actually painted this shelf. It was totally white, but I painted it up. And this is the custom Yavin playset, the temple that I made. Um, it was an old Imaginex playset that I totally transformed and cut it and painted to look like the hidden rebel vase on Yavin. And I got this cool idea to um you know cut up some of these foam pieces paint them up and see what we can do so again we've got the uh the foam knife and once you get it all hot and heated up you just start pressing this thing right onto the foam and it melts like butter it's um honestly really satisfying and soothing to work on i i get a lot of relaxation from you know building these dioramas just super fun hobby of mine and um, I've just really been turned on to, to styrofoam. So I'm going to go around this entire block and put these little rock marks in it and do the best I can to make it look like a rock wall. So let's see what we can do here. So here we go. I've been at this thing for a good while and just, you know, going around the entire piece, putting marks and cuts on it to look like rock. Um, you know, I just take the, the, the knife and drag it across some areas you know it 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 burns really really hot so you got to be careful not to go too deep but you know any pieces that you know look weird i can go back and carve up a little more here's what i've got so far um man already i can see the vision taking place i'm getting pretty excited to see where this thing's gonna go uh you can see i made two little pillars here that you know i'm gonna really use to park this a wing ship under and set some figures up on top got a little uh work station for admiral akbar i got some random pilots i'm just going through all my bags of you know random accessories that i've got to really make this thing pop but you know this is kind of the idea that i'm going for on this thing little multi-level hangar bay action going on so the bottom floor where the ship's gonna sit then up top i'm gonna have some work stations some computers and stuff so um, all right, I feel like I've got all the good cuts that I need on this. Uh, it's it's time for painting, and this is where it's really going to start to come to life. This is an Apple Barrel acrylic paint picked up at Walmart, 50 cents. Uh, it, it just works really, really well on styrofoam, so acrylic paint. I've got my horsehair brush, uh, poured on a pretty good little glop here, and I'm going to paint uh, this whole thing a dark, dark base coat of brown. Um, I'm gonna go back and do my dry brushing on it to really make the rocks highlight and stand out But I always put a, a dark coat underneath first. So here's what we got looking sharp already Woo! You have in tempo. So when I go back to put my My second highlight on it. I'm gonna use this this lighter color that I've got here uh, lighter tan and uh, dry brushing man, it's a uh, uh, it's such an easy technique and man you get big results um, so I'm just gonna get my horsehair brush dab it up nice and good with a good amount of paint and then you once you get a good amount on there you take a piece of cloth a, a t-shirt a rag whatever and just start kind of dabbing away some of the excess paint that's on your, your brush here you don't want to get it completely dry but um, you know just as much as, as you can the big glops and then you just take your brush and lightly stroke you know the the top creases um, going against the grain you don't want to go with it because I don't want to paint you know 
the, the crevices and, and cuts on it, I want to highlight the top portion of the piece so it has good depth and dimension. And what's really fun is, you know, you just start off light. You can always add more in places, you know, where you feel like you need more highlight or for you really want, you know, a little section to stand out more than the other places. Um, you, you really can't go wrong with this technique. Um, you get, again, huge results and so easy to do. So you can see the, the cuts on this are going vertical and I'm brushing it horizontally. So I'm not painting the base of it, just, just getting a top coat on there. Um, again, I'm gonna take my brush and, and do this whole thing. It's I, already, I mean, shoot, this is looking sweet. I can't wait to, to see what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so I've got the whole piece highlighted in all the places that I want. And um, I, I, I mean, I think it's looking really cool. It looks really sharp. It's popping. It's looking like rocks. Um, you know, when I put the figures on it, that's really when this thing is going to explode. The, the, the Star Wars figures is what it's about. That's what you're really showcasing and highlighting. And, uh, you know, basic little setup is really going to make the figures pop. So this is a last minute idea I had, but I really felt like the diorama needed some type of frame. So I quickly cut out these little strips and, you know, did the same technique. But I think it's going to look really cool once I put the details with my shrubs and plant life and stuff like that all over it. Um, it looks a lot more complete and just taller. So I think it's going to work really, really well. Along with the frame, I actually made this little war table here, a um, little strategy table. It just made out of foam board, so I just cut out some squares. Uh, this is actually a print off that I got from one of my friends on Facebook. Pasted that on there and just put a little frame on it. Um, I'm also going to put these little these screens back here, these tactical screens. Put two of them right on the, the back of it. Um, it's really going to tie in and tell the complete story. So I'm excited to uh, get it up and start putting some figs on it. So this is some Spanish moss that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this sparingly in a lot of places along with this moss here. Um, so here's, here's what we did. I mean, look at that. Look how awesome. The moss and the, the green shrub there really looking sweet um you know again a little bit goes a long way so i just took little areas to make it look like it's you know growing down or growing around some of the rock and the pillars and stuff i mean I, i'm super happy it was a really easy little project and it once i get the figures on this which i'm really excited this is gonna look pretty sick So here is the final product guys, my hidden rebel base on Yavin 4 now has its own hidden rebel hanger. This was a super fun build, it was actually really really easy guys, I would really highly recommend Styrofoam for all your Star Wars diorama creations. Um, one note that I will mention is whenever you're using the Styrofoam knife, um, it's a great idea to have some type of fan or ventilation system going on because the smoke that comes out from you know cutting the foam it is a bit toxic so you don't want to be breathing that stuff in so just be careful whenever you're, you're cutting the foam make sure you're you know ventilated or you got a little fan going on you don't want to be breathing that in but um, I would love to know what you guys think about the setup if you've ever used styrofoam before um, I, Again, it's a really great way to recycle styrofoam What better way to use it than setting up some awesome action figures and that's what it's all about You really want to highlight the figures this figures tell the story and this is the hobby that we're in Setting up display dioramas to get as close as you can to the Star Wars world I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration out of it. I hope you uh, got some confidence to go and start cutting up some styrofoam and making the best Star Wars displays imaginable. Thanks for watching, guys.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, we would really appreciate a like on our video. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date on everything Bantha Soup. We do reviews, we build customs, we talk about everything Star Wars. Galaxy, thank you so much for watching. My name is Gil, and this is Bantha Soup.